Welcome to another $4 million strategy podcast, the best four minutes in business. I'm super excited today to have Steve Potestio, the CEO of Harvester. He's going to tell us best practices for hiring people. Steve? Thanks, Carl. I appreciate it. Uh, well, I'm a, I'm a believer that unless uh, you have a product that just sells itself, your business is only as good as the people who are working for you. And um, it's the people who are driving the success of the business, whether they're driving the marketing, the revenue, customer, client connections. It's, it's really the people ultimately that are going to make you successful. And so I've always designed my businesses, attract and recruit and retain the best possible people. And I think uh, one of the areas that companies miss, in my mind, is the attraction aspect. I think it's um, it's pretty common for companies to focus on retention because you, know, you can read many studies about how expensive it is to replace an employee. So retention is something that companies can pretty easily get behind. Anyone who's had a business that's growing knows recruitment. And I would suspect that most of those people probably have some level of pain points around recruitment. But strategically, I think there are three things that companies um, really should focus on. And the first one is attraction. And so it's building an employer brand and building a culture. Again, culture is something that big, big buzzword in business. What's our business culture? What's our company culture? And um, I think it, it gets really focused on internal culture, which is correct. But then um, I think, again, where there's a miss is how does that culture present itself outside of the business walls? How do the employees represent that culture when they're out in their daily lives, ultimately representing, representing your company. And so I think if a company can really focus on culture as it pertains to their employer brand and be, be able to ask the, answer the question, why does someone want to work for you? You know, what's in it for them? Uh, and trying to approach the employer-employee uh, relationship as a two-way street. And um, it's easy for employers to think, hey, it's all about them. And to some degree it is. Uh, but I think those that can strategically align their talent uh, will ultimately be more successful. Okay. So one more tip around that. I'm kind of curious on, on the hiring side. If somebody's trying to figure out what is their differentiator, what is their key fact around with just 30 seconds left? What can they do to help them understand what's different versus everybody else? That's a really good question. I think it's um, one of the biggest things might be opportunity. And if the business is looking and trying to grow, growth generally represents opportunity for people to grow in their careers. And so uh, I think that's something that can be an intangible. I mean, the tangible things a company can certainly do to make uh, an appealing work environment and benefits and things like that. Um, but I think it's it's getting to why the why are we here and the what's in it for you and what is the opportunity for you to grow. And ultimately, if that employee is growing within your business, your business should be growing. Steve, thanks so much for being a guest on $4 million strategies podcast. Thanks, Carl. Really appreciate it.